And look who we've got coming next, wrestling fans. Stay with us. Exciting wrestling fans, of course, and tag team action. And you are looking at two of the finest tag team combinations in the world today. Of course, the Long Riders. Wild Bill and Scott Hogg Irwin facing the combination of Alofa, the Polynesian Prince, the barefoot wrestler in the ring right now, just hanging off with his partner, Dan Crawford. Gino Brito, one thing that sets this match apart. This was the match that decided in only a couple of days ago the vacant international tag team championship and it pitted the long riders scott hogger Owen and wild bill in the ring right now against dan crawford who's his opponent in the ring and alofa the polynesian prince tremendous strength being exhibited right now by dan crawford he's holding up wild bill Owen, who weighs 265 pounds and look at that carrying him into the corner and ramming him into that corner turnbuckle and now whipping the big man across the ring this is a great confrontation, Gino Brito. You have two tag teams, each of whom is excellent in their own way with a very great difference of style. That's right, Mills, and uh, they've proved it by being the last two teams unbeaten in that tournament. And right now, it's to decide who will become champion. And let me tell you one thing. Sure, they got the speed, Crawford and Alofa, but I've never seen tag team work any better than the Long Riders because they know each other so well and every time one's in trouble, the other one comes in for the save. So it's going to be interesting to see at the end who's going to win this match. Well, it's going to be interesting right now because there Alofa has turned Wild Bill Owen over to a bus and grabs. This was the same hold that we saw Rick Martel lose his AWA World Championship with. And look, you saw Scott Hogg Irwin come in, use that big forearm to knock Alofa off. And Dan Crawford came in with a benefit of the tag. And now he has that Boston Crab well applied to Wild Bill Irwin. And there's Scott Hogg Irwin again. Nothing like tag team combinations that have worked together before. Because after being knocked off by Scott Hogg, Alofa came in and relieved his partner, Dan Crawford. And he's got that Boston Crab well applied to Wild Bill Irwin. And this is a submission hold. As I said, we all saw the great Rick Martel lose his world championship belt to the big man from Texas. And it's a painful hold, Gino Brito. Very Frito. painful on the lower back. And that's why they keep working that lower back. And eventually, if they keep that up, there is no choice. You, you have to give up on it. Look at this move. Beautiful bridge. Beautiful move by Dan Crawford, bridging Wild Bill Irwin over it, but again, Scott Hogg Irwin coming to the aid of his brother and partner, Wild Bill Irwin. Dan Crawford now, it, well, there's almost a camel clutch, Gino. It is, it is a camel clutch, and it, same principle as a Boston Crab, it hurts the lower back, it puts pressure on the spine. Well, you can see that Dan Crawford and a loaf of the Polynesian Prince, although young in years, do share a wealth of professional wrestling experience. We always said that the mark of a professional, the mark of a professional wrestler with experience, is the man who will go after the soft spot in the body. When you soften a spot up, go after it and work on it. And the combination of Crawford and Alofa, like we said, they're high flyers. However, they are continuing to work on that one part of Wild Door with anatomy, that being the small of the back. First, the turnbuckles, then utilizing the Boston Crab, and now, and now this, this, this camel clutch working on that same part of the anatomy. But Wild Bill Irwin is stretching, trying to get to the ropes, Gino. Well, that's it. It's his only way out right now, Mill. Look at him. What can he do? He's too weak to do any, anything else. He has to get to the ropes, and hopefully he can tag Brother, Brother Hogg. Well, this is a man wrestling fans that weighs in at 265 pounds. And interestingly, interestingly, we can see the look of consternation on the face of Eddie the Brain Freakman outside the ring. He doesn't look entirely confident at this point, you know? You can't because with a hole like that, you, it's a good thing that, that uh, the match is in progress quite a while already. And probably the stamina and the strength is not quite there even for Crawford, but still... He's got no chance if he can't get to these ropes. I have to say this. Did you see the strength exhibited and determination by this wild Bill Irwin? He got on his knees just before, and he continues 
to make his way to the corner and towards the rope. Wrestling fans, look at this. He's back up on his knees, and say what you will about the long riders. We've always said they're big, they're strong, and they're tough, but they are also determined. Gino Brito is not to the referee now. What's happening? Uh-oh, I think Prophet might be hurt, Mills. Well, he was shrugged off by Wild Bill Irwin, and you have to give Wild Bill Irwin marks for determination. Gino Brito, the man obviously doesn't know the meaning of the word quick. Right on the back. A loafer, the back. A loafer stomping the small of the back, and now with that elbow drop across the small of the back, covering Wild Bill Irwin. But he manages to kick out. You have to admire the tenacity of all four wrestlers in this match. But of course, there's one thing stake in this match that is not at stake in the majority of wrestling matches, and that is the International Tag Team Whoa. Championship. Look at those cocoa box or head, head drops, whatever you want to call them. Alofa continuing to put pressure, continuing to go after the small of the back of Wild Bill Irwin, and now he's back in that camel clutch. How much longer can this 265-pound modern-day cowboy withstand the pressure and the punishment, Gino Beal? Only he knows, Mills, and I'll tell you one thing, he is in trouble right now, but like you've said, it's for all the marbles, for the championship belt, and that's where the money is, and he's not about to give up. Well, Alofa continuing to pull on the pressure. Wild Bill Irwin showing the effect of the punishment he's taken. Grabbed by the ponytail now. Whipped by Alofa into those corner turnbuckles. And he hit them awfully hard. Just thinking to that bottom turnbuckle. Alofa throwing a good right. And I thought he was going to throw a left, but he used that headbutt instead. Look at this. Wild Bill Irwin just flat on that canvas on his rear end. Alofa picks him up now. Whips him across the ring. And there's Wild Bill into the corner again. But coming out of the corner with a vengeance, with with a clothesline that put Alofa on the canvas, and he reached back to his inner self, obviously at that point, and just dug down like all great athletes do for something extra, put Alofa on that canvas, and there's the tag that was all he could do. Here comes great day, 285 pounds, Scott Hogg Irwin, coming after Alofa. He's still feeling the effects of that clothesline thrown at him by Wild Bill. Alofa whipped off the rope by Scott Hogg Irwin, and a great big backdrop put him on that canvas, and now that flying elbow drop, and that's 285 pounds, remember, folks. They came down on the midsection of Alofa, the Polynesian Prince, and that great big forearm again. There's nothing that's small about Scott Hogg Irwin. I'll tell you something. Alofa taking punishment down. Now he's on the canvas on all fours. The armbar taken by Scott Hogg Irwin. Pulling the pressure on, and look at the pain being registered outside the ring by Wild Bill Irwin. Gino, he took a tremendous amount of punishment. He did, Mill, but the experience was there. He came back with that clothesline, suckered a loaf of right in, tagged out, and now it's a brand new ball game. Well, it's not just experience, but intestinal fortitude. You have to recognize what's there. The arm bar held now by Scott Hogg Irwin. There's the tag to Wild Bill. Alofa was fighting back with punches to the midsection. And there's Wild Bill off the turnbuckle with a big forearm across the back of Alofa. Wild Bill Irwin obviously still feeling the effects of the punishment he did with Stan because his hand keeps going back to the small of that back. He picks Alofa up and slams him and falls down himself. He's obviously the worst for wear, He's Gino. hurt. He's hurt, Bill. Definitely. He should well, tag out. Beautiful move now by Wild Bill. Ooh. He came across the ring on all fours, blocked the loafer from getting to the corner of the tag off with Dan Crawford, and in came Wild, or I should say Scott Hogg, picked up a loafer. I thought he might have slammed him a little harder, but now, what a stop across the upper chest. Just what's he doing now? Inviting Crawford into the ring. The referee got in there, and Scott Hogg everyone went back. Now he has a loafer against those ropes. Bent back over that top rope and a big forearm smash across the upper chest. Still holding him there in a punch to the side of the head. That's not entirely kosher. However, the tag team championship is at stake. So the eyes of Alofa being raked by Scott Hogg. Good tag team maneuver. You've got to give it to him, Gino, because while the referee was distracted by Scott Hogg Irwin, the neck of Alofa, the Polynesian Prince, was sprung. Off that top rope by Wild Bill Irwin from outside the ring. Taking 
A low for over and out. Scott Hargo went looking very confident. Up and down. That's 285 pounds of the leg coming down across the upper part of the chest, but not to be. Count of two and a half only. The three count is required. There's the tag. Scott Hogg the Wild Bill. Well, before Scott Hogg leaves the ring, he threw a good right hand punch, and there's Wild Bill went in. This man takes a back seat to no one when it comes to intestinal fortitude and ability. These guys can wrestle the long riders, whipping them across the ring, the knee to the midsection, putting a loaf of the Polynesian Prince on the canvas. And now, well, I thought Wild Bill was going to tag, but he came back for one more shot. The forearm down across the back of the neck of Alofa. A second time. Alofa fighting back. Punch to the midsection. A left. A right. Well, that right came up close to the jaw. Seems to me he raked the eyes of Wild Bill Irwin. Forcing Wild Bill back to the corner, but he tagged out with Brother Scott Hogg. Alofa fighting back, but the punches don't seem to be having significant effect at this point. Scott Hogg Irwin, relatively fresh. Oh, will the Coco Bond do it? Whipping Scott Hogg, oh, face forward into the corner. Turnbuckles, 285 pounds. Back out of that turnbuckle, Gino. Knocked Alofa down. He was a little wobbly to start Let's with. Great counting now, Mills. Look, both of them down. There's the tag. Scott Hogg made the tag to Wild Bill, and there's Alofa tagging with Profit. Profit trying to throw the boot in, but he missed it, but he came in with a vengeance now, picking Wild Bill and went up and slamming him. The boots in the midsection of Scott Hogg with his of the ring, and slamming him. The tremendous strength exhibited by Dan Profit. Whipping now. The two are went into each other. They're both on the canvas. Dan Profit, the legal man in there for the one team, drop kicking Wild Bill, back dropping Scott Hogg Irwin. The action fast and furious. Whipping now. Wild Bill across the road. The abdominal oh, oh, oh. stretch. The abdominal stretch. And this again works in the part of the anatomy. What a creature with Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Scott Hogger, what's he doing? What's he doing? The big boot to the jaw of Dan Profit. Creature up, distracting the referee. One, two. Hold it a second. Hold it a second. There's something not kosher there, Mills, for sure. Dan Crawford was pinned by Wild Bill Irwin. The count of three went in. Of that, there's no question. But, and I'd love to see it again, because we saw some events leading up to that. Firstly, you saw Scott Hogg Irwin kicking down the toe of his boot in the ring. Not once and not twice, but it almost seemed, you know, like he was attempting to accomplish something in particular. That toe kept coming down. At the same time, at the same time, Loaded Freeze, went, That's what Freeze it was, went, came Bill. up onto the ring apron. The referee was distracted and well distracted. Scott Hogger went came across and laid the toe of that same boot into the jaw of Dan Crawford. By the time the referee turned around and saw what had happened, Crawford, and he's still out on the canvas, was down. Now, let's perhaps get another look. Beautiful That's drop it. kick by Crawford. Back dropping Scott Hogger went. Now you see him, he's going to whip Wild Bill Irwin off the rope, and he's going to put on that abdominal stretch. Now, they had already worked in the back. Now look, watch Scott Hogg Irwin. Look, look, look. He kicks one. That's now right. he's in the corner, kicking a few times, and Creechman's on the ring apron, distracting the referee. The boot went in against the jaw of Crawford. He was out for I don't know how long. Well, the Long Riders indeed are international tag team champions. Wrestling fans, we're going to be back and we want to investigate. Wrestling fans, the International Tag Team Championship no longer vacant. A very tough and formidable team. Now where's those belts? We're going to bring them in right now. And I suppose some congratulations is due to the Long Riders. They won that tremendous tag team tournament. Recently, uh, now international tag team. Highlight my new necklace. Highlight my new necklace right here. Right there. We told all the people of Canada we were the number one family of wrestling in Canada. And now we proved it. And that's not bragging. It's fact. It's right there. People can see it. We told the people we were going to win the tag team yeah. tournament. We did, and we go out and do it, because we do what we say we're going to do, and nothing less. Ain't that right, brother? That's right. You know, the Prince Polynesian and his Dan Crawford, I think I think the Prince Polynesian ought to be the, the, the Polynesian punk, you know. Yeah. He's getting out there, jumping all around. But when you get in the ring with the Long Riders, you better have it all together. You young boys, maybe you did win a tournament someplace at one time, and you were the top dog. But right now, it's the Long Riders. We're the top dogs, and you want to see some proof? 
Here it is, shining right in your face. You see that proof right there? You like that little bit of proof? You're going to see it. Tom you're going to see it, and you're going to hear it everywhere we go. You're going to know who is your champion. You're going to know who is the international champion. And you're going to know that we got rid of that Prince and Dan Crawford. We got rid of those two boys. The heat was too hot for them in the kitchen, so they had to step that's out. You know, and that's everywhere. what's going to happen everywhere we go. Everywhere, everywhere we you go. see Eddie, these two. Eddie, you know, everywhere we go, like you've been saying, is controversy, constantly controversy. You people want to know what it's about? Just come out. Anytime you hear that we're going to be in your little town, come, come out. on out and see us because you're going to see rock'em, sock'em action. Your wrestling fans, controversy does follow them, but make no mistake, they're rough, they're tough, and they're capable, and the Long Riders are international. I've just seen how the Long Riders have just achieved that very prestigious international tag team championship. We're going to talk now with a young combination rapidly achieving stardom and popularity here throughout the world of international wrestling. Of course, the finalists in that tag team tournament, the combination of Dan Crawford and his partner Alofa, the Polynesian Prince Alofa. Contentious decision. Oh, brother, you know what? I'm so hot right now, you know? Yeah. You know how these yeah. brothers done, done, done stole the belts of Long Riders? I don't think they, they deserve those belts. The people of Canada know that. The people of Canada know that. They They... Me and my partner here, we're going to stick together and we're going to give the people of Canada the right decision, the right tag team champions. You're, you're looking at the future young tag team champions, brother. I and I want to say something. I just want to say, how, how do you, oh. can you go in the ring yeah. and you think you can get away with that? The people seen it, we've seen it, that they had something literally put in their boots to hurt us because we out wrestled them and they couldn't keep up no. with us. Well, it no. don't matter. You want to street no. fight, you want to wrestle, it don't no. matter. This time we're going to be prepared. Tell them, brother. Well, well, the thing is this, Alofa, now you've got to go out and take those championship belts. They are the champions. We're going to do it, brother. We're going to do it. You know, uh, the people of Canada, I'm sorry that we had to let our frustrations out like this, but I'm sorry. You know, things like this, is people like this that don't they're belong in professional they're wrestling. They're not real champions. If they want to ride bikes, come in here with boots and stuff like that, let them stay on the street. Yeah. Ride your bike. Yeah, and we're work. Gonna, don't forget to ride ready that time. We're going to be ready. Yeah. You know how you guys are. Well, we're remember gonna... something else. They're capable wrestlers, too. Hey, they can be capable, hey. but hey, we're young. We have speed, we have agility, and I know him like a brother. He's a brother to me. He's blood. Matter of fact, yeah, I cut my skin yesterday just to put his hands together and make us blood yeah. brothers. And I love this brother now. Right and I'm telling you, we're going to be 110 percent. We are going to get down. Wrestling fans, I know all of you want to wish the absolute best to a local the Polynesian Prince and his partner Dan Crawford. Stay with us. We'll be back.